Deborah. Good morning. Why is it every time you go on vacation, the weather is crappy? I once went to Ocean City in my RV, into an RV park, and it rained 13 days straight, and we brought a motorcycle. And we almost went insane. I can't imagine how difficult it is for you men and women to be locked up during this coronavirus because I, after about the seventh day, I got a migraine and and my husband wouldn't take me to one of those clinics. I think it was around 75th Street. I had to walk there myself begging for something for a migraine. And by the time you sit in the lobby for like an hour, it kind of goes away, right? But it was the worst time I've ever had with my spouse because we were in very close quarters. I remember it was so bad that we finally got on the motorcycle in the rain and went to a used bookstore just to have something to read for those 13 days. Oh my God. Oh, and I know that domestic violence is going to go up in the calls, but if you're quarantined, the, you're, you're not, you're not going to call the police because you're still going to be stuck, excuse me, you're still going to be stuck with your spouse, unless they haul them off, haul them or whoever it is off to jail. So yeah, the weather is supposed to be real crummy this whole week, but it's probably for the better. That way you can walk more if it's not. What is wrong with this? I think I need to tighten up the camera. I apologize, people. Oh my God, how embarrassing. <laughs> so I've got everything out on, on the floor. I just got to put it in a suitcase. Now, when I travel, I bring everything that I could possibly need in case I got a cold, upset stomach, uh, I dress, I actually pack for any kind of weather. Then I have to coordinate the earrings with the necklaces. Mm-hmm. I gotta quit pursing my lips. I'm getting wrinkles around the lips. Uh, so need to concentrate on working. Keep your mouth shut at work. Don't say anything. I don't know. Sometimes I think I, I rub people the wrong way. They think they think I'm being serious and I'm being funny, you know? That can that can hurt you a little bit, you know. Uh, they don't get my sense of humor. Well maybe they don't have a sense of humor. Here's a guy that's just gonna walk out in traffic. There's a guy here. His tag actually says something like Catman. And he um, feeds the cats. And he feeds them at the same time every day. And he but beeps the horn so that they'll come out of the woods, you know? I've seen this happen many, many times. So, I'm handicapped. All right, bye everyone. Bye everyone. Somebody remind me to get gas. I just went to work without my computerized work badge, so can't really do much. So I only live a couple blocks away. So my manager said, take your time, go back and get it. This is what happens when you don't put your work related things in one location. I always put it in a see-through bag. And this time I just left it on the table thinking my eyes are gonna dart there. This is why I used to have on my front door, did you have your wallet? Do you have your ID? Do you have your like money? Do you have your work badge? Do you have your water? Do you have your car keys? People make fun of me, but let me tell you what, it saves time because I remember when I was operating my own business, a lot of my foremans would go out without their work orders for the day and without them you don't know where the hell to drive to right because it's got the address oh there's a beautiful blue mustang <sighs> yeah
you know, an ex-boyfriend wanted to wash my car, and I don't like anybody washing my car except myself, because I have seen people not use microfiber cloths, and a lot of people don't know how to wash a car. That's the thing. I don't trust anybody. I'd rather have it dirty. But I am going to Ocean City with zero dollars. I guess this person thinks I'm an idiot. I've had to blink around the whole time. Okay. All right. So. Uh, these old men get to me that have these marlins on their shirt. They have probably never been on a freaking boat that goes out into the deep sea to even look for marlin. It's hilarious. Yeah. They've never been on a boat. Yeah. I might be the only single white female that knows how to string ballyhoo for the white and blue marlin. Okay. I'll say goodbye for I just found out that two people in town I was told have the coronavirus. I haven't heard a word about it and I work in a pharmacy. You think I would be the first to know? <sighs> yeah, my granddaughter said she's gonna cover some of the costs of us going to Ocean City, so that, I'm glad. I heard the Wendy's burn down last night. Oh my God. We actually get notices every day of what to do in case something like that happens where, where we live, right? We get notices of what to do.